Welcome back. This is our last tutorial in this course. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about creating a CD master. The audio CD format was created in the 1980s by Sony and Philips. Digital audio files on CD are different than WAV files that play on your computer. Originally, creating a master in what's called red book format was a specialized activity but these days, burners are standard on PCs, and software for creating CDs is easily available. Pro Tools and Cubase don't contain a CD burning software, whereas Adobe Audition does. If you're burning for home or personal use, you can use a free burner like Roxio or whatever burner comes with your operating system. But if you want to burn professional quality Redbook CDs to be used as a glass master for replication, you should use a professional product like Sonic Foundry CD Architect, Sony's SoundForge, or WaveLab from Steinberg. These give you more options for formatting your CD. The CD writing program needs to generate some appropriate subcode on what's called the P and Q channels, and not all CD writing programs do this. There's some decisions to make while prepping the master CD. The track index can contain CD text like artist and genre. Not all CD players will recognize this information, however. Windows Media Player gets artist and title info from the internet, not the CD. As well, protection and emphasis codes are optional and not supported by all players. You might want to add the ISRC code, that's the International Standard Recording Code. This is helpful for the collection of royalties, especially for work that's released overseas. For more info on this, check the website at isrc.com. You also specify the length of time between the end of one track and the beginning of the next. A two-second pause is default. It can be any length if the CD is of a live concert. Next, the bit depth. A CD master needs to be 16-bit in depth and 44.1 kilohertz. The resampling process does the reduction for you, so make sure you apply your dither before your final export. And this concludes our tutorial about preparing a CD master. I hope you enjoyed this course about recording and mixing and mastering. We wish you the very best luck with your music projects.